Hi there, me again. We are out in the wood. It is between Christmas and New Year, so it's very late December, but we've had a ridiculously mild winter so far. It's uh, 2019, and we've just come out for a walk with my boys, and it has been phenomenally wet for several months, and we've just come across this yellow brain fungus. So it's extremely gelatinous feels extremely squidgy. It is an edible mushroom. It's not one that is considered to be particularly sought after. It's quite a bland flavor. Um, I certainly won't be harvesting any of this because there's not enough to make it worthwhile. Um, but here it is growing on this big branch that's come off of this giant oak tree. Um, this oak tree is well over 300 years old. It's quite a beauty. And uh, it's not something we were expecting to find or even looking for. So just thought I'd share this quick video with you. So I'm back in the house and <clears throat> because it's not a mushroom that I'm intimately familiar with, it's not a mushroom that I personally seek out and forage for, it's not one that I know a great deal about out in the field. So I just wanted to check a couple of things and add a few uh, notes, if you like, to the end of this video. So um, it's got three very common names, yellow jelly fungus, which is butter, which is what um, it's most commonly known by, I think, in America. I'm not sure um, how that travels around the world. Um, and I knew it as the yellow brain fungus. It is part of a family of three fungus, which are quite similar. There's two yellow and an orange version. The yellow versions particularly, uh, they're, they're, it's very unlikely you're going to confuse them with anything dangerous. There's, there's nothing out there toxic that I know of that looks the same, at least in, in my area. Um, but you know, do your own research. It's a fungus that is very, very responsive to the weather. So when it's been raining, it's it's got this appearance to it. And then after a few days of dry weather, it will shrivel up. This here, we had so much rain. This is a piece, this is where it was attached to the oak tree. So it's actually fallen off with the weight of itself. Um, and it will shrivel up this piece and if we get a long enough dry spell and then it will come back. The main reason that people don't eat it is a perfectly edible mushroom, there's nothing wrong with it, is it just, it doesn't have much flavor. Um, so it's much like the uh, the jelly ears or the dew ears that I've done videos on that grow on elder, um, but it doesn't have that texture that those mushrooms have. It's quite a, uh, a mushy mushroom. Um, an interesting thing, if you wanted to do this, if you've got kids that are interested in wild mushrooms and you want to encourage their interest, um, take some, just a small amount, put it in a frying pan, and as you fry it, it pops like popcorn. It sort of jumps around the pan. That's quite fun. So it's a useful one to know because it's available all year round. Um, so the other thing I wanted to mention is that it grows all year round. It can pop out any time. Um, mainly after some heavy rain. And like I say, we've been inundated with rain here. So I will go back to that uh, that tree uh, the next time we get some heavy rain and I expect to see a bigger bloom. I imagine it will grow on for quite some time there. It's a parasitic mushroom and it's actually parasitic on other mushrooms that live on decaying wood, which is why you're more likely to find it on hardwood, downed hardwood. Um, and that tree was a, a big, big oak tree. So I imagine that there's some mushroom living within that tree that is decaying it for us. And this mushroom has latched onto the back of that uh, environment. And because it's a nice big, big piece of oak, I imagine that will go on for quite some time. So I would expect to see some quite heavy blooms there um, of the, the witch's butter um, over the coming months and years. It's available in December when your choice is slightly more limited. But there you go. The yellow brain fungus. If you find these videos valuable, there's several ways you can support us and they're all very simple. Um, they're as simple as just like this video, um, subscribe to our channel and leave a comment down below. All those things genuinely help us because they tell YouTube that this is a video people want to see. And that puts it in front of more eyeballs, which is what we're after. Thank you very much. See you on the next one.